Now to 11 music mogul Sean Diddy Combs is nowhere to be seen. Private security guards at the gates of his Star Island home after it was raided by Homeland Security earlier this week. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is on Star Island as insiders say Diddy's businesses are in crisis too. They see pressure building on all sides of Sean Diddy Combs. Behind me, that busted gate guarded by two SUVs and private security is no shield to mounting allegations. Who's the boss? Dudes is lost. Sean Combs' empire, built with music and television production, alcohol and gaming, is shaking in the wake of federal raids on his homes that sources say is tied to a sex trafficking investigation. This is an existential crisis for him, quite honestly. His businesses have already taken an enormous hit from the sexual misconduct cases um, that, that have been leveled against him. And obviously, Homeland Security went in almost literally with guns blazing when they were searching his, his houses. In Los Angeles, Homeland Security searched Combs' home for guns. Sources say they took firearms from his Star Island mansion, too. This comes two days after authorities arrested Brendan Paul on drug charges. A lawsuit against Combs accuses Paul of being Diddy's drug mule. This 75-page claim by a producer known as Rodney Lil Rod Jones claims there's video and audio evidence that Combs ran a criminal enterprise that involved sex trafficking and distributing drugs and fire. Firearms. The suit claims Combs had freak-off parties with sex workers and minors in Diddy's Star Island mansion. Jones claims photos shows Combs with an underage girl. The suit says Diddy's chief of staff, Christina Corum, required all employees to carry pouches to keep Combs high. The fanny packs allegedly held cocaine, GHB, ecstasy, marijuana gummies, and a pink mix of coke and ecstasy said to be Combs' drug of choice. The lawsuit says Combs' son Justin and other celebrities partied with Diddy. Others kept their distance. Yeah, 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 what it do? It's your boy, Stunt Lifestyle, and you are watching the We In Miami podcast. On this recent episode of the We In Miami podcast, music mogul Luther Campbell explains how he handled two New Year's Eve party invites. Right, Did you shit. party with Diddy a lot? Oh, uh, no, not really. I would go to the party and, and leave early. Why wouldn't you stay? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I go to the party and leave early. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know what goes on after part after hours, but he wasn't trying to find out. I wasn't trying to find out. <laughs> Campbell says he feels sorry for Diddy's family. When five or six women are accusing a man of sexual misconduct, I hate to say this, but especially a black man, um, that is that is a difficult thing to speak out against unless you know it to be untrue, which most people don't. Only the people involved would know. Combs' lawyer says the allegations are nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations. Combs' lawyer says Diddy is innocent and will continue to fight every day to clear his name. To this point, he has not shown his face publicly here or made any public comment. On Star Island, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.